Hey guys, so it's our last day in New York. Um, we are just, the first lot of us are down with the first lot of cases. All our cases are absolutely stuffed. I don't know why because I haven't, well, I bought a reasonable amount. Lauren's just looking at me Come like, on. really? I kind of why the cases are stuffed. They, they are stuffed. Um, like, I feel like I've done that thing where I bought a lot of more expensive things, but because of that I didn't buy as much like so I'm like I only really bought a couple of things and I don't know why my case is as ridiculously stuffed as it is but we're all kind of at the weight limit nothing else it's not even like the weight that's even the issue because we are all round about the limit so between the four of us it's going to be kind of fine um but there's no space like physically there is no space in any of our cases anymore except Lindsay's <laughs> and I need to buy perfume today so I'm potentially going to be responsible for taking up I'm sorry I'm still looking up there but I'm potentially going to be responsible for taking up the last tiny bit of space she did have which is really bad of me but what can you do but yeah so we're leaving our room so there's the bed there's oh there's Lindsay there I was, I was just saying that I'm potentially taking up all the space in your case that you did have. Oh, My overspill is like killing it. But empty drawers, hand luggage, my spare hand luggage bag, that will fit in there but not when it shuts, or it will not shut when it's in there. So for leaving it in the hotel, it's there. My bag that I'm taking out today. Yeah, I'm sad to leave this hotel room. It's been a good holiday. The amount of stuff that we are just leaving because we can't fit it back in is like a bin jeans and everything. But it's been very good. No, I specifically wore those jeans travelling because I was like, I can just bin these. But yeah, we're way downstairs with the rest of our luggage and then we're going to Central Park, so we'll see you there. Hey guys, so we're in Central Park and something very exciting happened on the way here. Went to Sephora, which I really shouldn't be doing because my case is not going to fit this in, so it's going to go in Lindsay's case, which is really quite horrible of me. Um, I reached the IB season, or not the IB, whatever the, the second tier is, I reached it, which is terrible because the whole thing refreshed just after I got back from Florida, so nothing that I bought in Florida has counted towards it. So that's kind of stressful. Um, but it's still very exciting. So I've got 10% off and free delivery and a free makeover, none of which I can use back home, but still. But anyway, we're now in Central Park and we're coming around to the Gapstow Bridge, which is beautiful. Look at that dog. Put it there, how it's like all frozen over and then this bit's starting to unfreeze because it's so nice today. But on this side, it's still totally like solid winter Central Park. But we're at Walman Rink, which is where Blair tripped Roma in season one and is also in Serendipity and I'm sure it's in quite a few other things as well. But those are my main two references. That's the skyline behind it, which is very impressive. So we're heading through Dip Rock Arch, which has probably also been in Gossip Girl or something. We are on the Mall, which in my last vlog when I was here, it was all green and all out in bloom and today it just looks really lovely. It's, I mean I think the thing is you could come in every season and it would look really lovely like. But yeah so there's her national poet Mr Robert Burns. It's her Walter Scott on the other side although it does just say Walter Scott not Sir Walter Scott and he is Sir Walter Scott. But anyway let's head down and see who else we see. guys so we're heading down onto the Bethesda Terrace where Blair get married and I'm so excited and I, I showed this in my last New York vlog as well but this one's better and it's got a better camera and also everyone needs and to see it again I'm here, so I'm excited well yeah Lindsay's so also here so rather than me just be like I'm so excited my grand's like yeah I've never watched this TV show what are you talking about Piles of snow packed in from the other day. But look, we're coming out onto the most beautiful scene. 
Excellent, you've got the terrace, or the fountain rather, and then just all oh, this beautiful view behind it. The one with my the steps they ran down with the most amazing music choice going on in the wedding scene. So here's the pond all frozen. And there's the boathouse where we had lunch the last time. But I don't think I vlogged when I was actually in there because I was feeling really awkward that time because I was here with my gran. Um, whereas I wish I was going this time because the food was really nice, the view was incredible and I would vlog because I'm with these guys. But yeah. Definitely recommend eating in there if you're in New York. And there's the fountain from the other side with the terrace behind it. There's no water in the fountain. There was no water the last time I was here either actually. So I don't know if there ever is. And if there is, but it's only in high summer potentially. The last time I was here was in May, but there's still no water. Hey guys, so right behind me there, this is where in Gossip Girl they come with the ambassador's son who's a drug dealer, or Jenny comes, and they use the boats to ferry the drugs across. But we're not stopping there, we're going up here to the Alice in Wonderland statue. My voice is totally going, I think it's the air conditioning in the room, because I keep turning it down at night and I think the ladies come in during the day when she's tied in her room and just push it back up because yeah, my voice is really dried out and Lindsay's whole like, throat and nose are dried out. But yeah, we're going in there so I'll show you that up close. There we go, so there's lots of children playing on it. But that is the statue. And then you can walk straight from the statue down to the boat pond. Guys, I know this is the most ridiculous. <laughs> I know this is the most ridiculous piece of vlog footage you've ever seen but there is dog who obviously has some kind of problems with his hind legs and he's got like a little wheel device and it's just absolutely melting my heart and yeah I just took pictures pretending I was taking pictures of Lindsay and just pointed the camera right at the dogs. <laughs> We're at the park and we're having lunch. This is kind of our last thing that we're doing before we go. Um, it's super busy because it's Saturday afternoon. We're in Shake Shack and I've got the same as I had the other day, but I'm going to vlog it anyway for you. So I've got a shake burger, fries, and a strawberry milkshake. I think everyone's got the same as they got the other day, um, but it was so good. So, exactly. Hey guys, so. Remember I was going on about Susan from Kate Spade the other day? Well, there was a jumper that I didn't buy at the time then was like, I regret that. And I went to the downtown store last night and they didn't have it. And they called uptown to get, well they had the jumper but they only had small or a large and I wanted medium. So they called the uptown store for me and got it messenger down this morning to my hotel, which is just lovely. But Susan's written a little note in it. Wishing thanks and love to you and the ladies. XO Susan, how cute is that? I'm sorry if my voice is like totally croaky and you can hardly hear me. We think it's been the air conditioning in the room, but we're not sure. Because Lindsay's kind of the same, but not as bad. <laughs> but yeah, that is the cutest thing. And they sent it down. Hey guys, so we're outside the hotel waiting on our transfers. It's time to go home. And I'm so, so sad. I've had the best holiday ever. I don't want to go. And I know as soon as we land tomorrow, it's just going to feel like we were never here. Like, I'm very sad. No, no, I have had the best holiday like yeah the only things i would say is give more time to certain oh, things yeah. i feel like we didn't we, like we didn't get to the 9 11 memorial we had passes for it um, and we didn't get to because we just ran out of time um and, and know that no matter how much time you think you're giving yourself to do certain things it's not it's enough. not realistically yeah. gonna happen because getting from, even getting from A to B you stumble across things that you go, yeah. Oh that was really cool, let's pop into that shop and then that takes twenty minutes out of your half hour yeah. walk to whenever you're meant to go. So allocate just give yourself a little bit of freedom to know that you're gonna find things that weren't on the itinerary that you want to do. So accidents and time for that. Hey guys, so we're in the airport now and we've decided to stop and just get a drink because kind of looked at duty free and it's a bit disappointing, like there's nothing that exciting. So we thought we'd come and get a drink. And this bar, oh yeah, no, um, it does food as well, but this is the menu. So it's on an iPad, you come up and then, you know, that's all you there. So if you want to look at your cocktails, you press cocktails and it brings up your cocktails. And then, you know, you go through, you add it and then you pay it here. And then they, then they bring it to your table and it just appears like magic, which is potentially the coolest thing ever. You even have a vegetarian, gluten-free and FIT menu. Fit menu, not sure which one you want to go for there. Um, but yeah, I'm very impressed. 
and this makes my entire airport experience seem that much better. So we're on the plane and we're going home so my in-flight travel beauty bag is all here. I'm going to take my makeup off. Warren, somebody has um, I, 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 I'm, yeah, I was, I'm like <laughs> going to zoom in on the thing as though I'm going to show them the headphones splutter. But in the little bit, somebody's like snapped their headphones on Lauren, so she's potentially facing... I'm facing a seven hour flight with no entertainment. Well, we've got fun. Got but we are really tired, we've been doing so much walking, yeah. we are hoping we will just kind of pass out. But it's been the most wonderful holiday I've had, the best time. Um, we're thinking like what we're going to do is once every five years just repeat the holiday. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, potential rescue might happen. It's just so far It's so far in. No. I love the like, look of concern in everybody's face. Sadly, the rescue Quite mission is <laughs> futile. She's still stuck with no entertainment. But she is getting a complimentary sandwich, so we did, we did think about pushing for a first class upgrade, but. I was just going to say I bought an outfit in Barcelona. I would have done it. I'm not done it. They've offered her another seat. So, yeah, that is it. We're heading home. It's been the most wonderful time. Um, we're thinking, like, maybe once every five years we're going to just repeat the trip. Um, work through the season. So, next time, like, maybe summer, then autumn, then Christmas. Yeah. That's the plan. Um, but, yeah, it's been the best time, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching these vlogs. And yeah, videos will now return to normal. Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye.